what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Marjolyn and in today's video I'm going to be reacting kind of <laughs> to the video that I made in the beginning of the year I want to say on January 5th to be exact and in that video titled 10 things to achieve in 2019 I obviously stated 10 things that I wanted to do throughout the year and i've been i've been pushing off you know kind of watching back on the video and react not reacting but pretty much answering myself like whether i did those 10 things or not i've been holding back because i know there's this one thing <laughs> two things on the list that i vividly remember i said i was gonna do and i didn't do them so i was like i'll get to it before the year ends because i wanted to do these things but i just i can't like i've I've come to accept the fact that I'm not going to get to it this year. So, you know what? Maybe I'll put it in next year's video, if anything. So, before I get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm already at 700 and that means so much to me because I can't believe 700 of you can stand to see my face. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> it's loud. okay first oh that's an ugly um <laughs> first of all my hair grew <laughs> since the year started i made my one year on youtube mark already i believe in october i want to say sorry to made two years cool no i think it was the beginning of october so Ooh. i already made my one year mark in today's video i did steal this idea from my best friend noemi i will the realist i am unoriginal as heck so i'm like still am that's a good video idea maybe i should do it she was pretty much just um saying um you know like things that she wanted to accomplish in 2019 in no specific order i will be listing the 10 things that i want to do by the end of this year so yeah and for some reason when i was making this list this was the first thing that came to my mind <laughs> Number one on my list, even though I said no specific order, um, I would like to clean up the storage in my phone. Now, <laughs> this was literally the one thing I just said. Well, one of the two things I just said that I knew I didn't achieve. I didn't clean up my storage. Um, it actually, <laughs> it actually grew. It actually grew. I. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm a hoarder. I said it in the video and I'll say it again. I am a picture and video hoarder. Um, I tried to erase. I still am. I feel like I erase 300 pictures like every week. And at the end of the week, I'm left with like 900 more than what I started off with. I, mm. I have 10,255 images. I'm at 13,000. <laughs> Also, I do want to clean up my mail, my email as well, because <laughs> I used to be such a perfectionist. I did not like seeing any notifications, like, on, the, um, on like, the, the email icon. Um, and then at some point, I don't know what I was going through. I just stopped caring, and now I'm up to 5,000. No, okay, okay, wait. I did that. I, well, it's going up again, but I don't have 5,000 anymore. I have one thousand so so that's a win we got one one out of two one out of two so far good job two. i want to save up money obviously to travel wait just kidding this was a number two are you joking me two i want to save up money obviously 0 0.5 okay i give myself 0 0.5 out of one so that's technically half a point to travel so <laughs> for my 21st birthday which will be this year. Woo -woo! On November, I have a few months to save up. You know, I have 11 months to save up. I want to go to Vegas. Vegas is... <laughs> Spoiler alert. It didn't happen. If you don't go to Vegas for your 21st birthday, what are you doing with your life? You had big hopes um, and dreams. I don't have the money right now. Still don't? Obviously. But I would, aside from Vegas, if I can't make it, I would also like to go to Seattle. Nope. Because I do have a little bit 
a little bit, but I have like a cousin over there. If <clears throat> not Seattle, if not Vegas, I would like to fly out to Spain. Now, no. my reasoning for <laughs> you Spain didn't go to Spain. Is that I have one of my sisters over there. Um, I haven't seen her in <laughs> I want to say seven to eight years more or less so i would like to go and see her just because i don't really bond with her and i haven't had the time to bond with her um but you know she moved out to spain and she's always telling me to go and i'm always like yeah i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it maybe maybe this year will be the year <laughs> who knows and then and lastly i know this one's such a long shot and i don't see myself doing it this year but if not this year definitely Hopefully, sometime between 2020 and 2021. Oh my God, those years don't even seem realistic in my mind. But sometime in the next two years, I would like to fly to Korea. Because... <sighs> this one kind of hurts because the opportunity did come up. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, I did turn down a trip to Korea, unfortunately. I wasn't financially steady enough to go, so I turned it down, but I was gonna go. I'm not gonna count it, but I did make a promise that um, since I missed out on this trip, I was gonna go um, as a graduation trip. So definitely 2021. Definitely 2021. Number Almost there. Three. three. Now this one is probably the one that my mom is going to have the biggest issue with. Because ever since I got my first one, she's been iffy about me getting more. Tattoo. I want to get more tattoos. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm getting more tattoos. <laughs> oh, I almost dropped my computer. Girl, not to brag, but I did get more tattoos. <laughs> well, I got one more and I think... Um, I've been happy with it since I got it. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my video, because I also did make a video on that one. I got my love yourself, love myself, sorry. Love myself answer tattoo with a little heart. I'm sorry, mom. I love you. Number four. <laughs> this one is a little bit more of a challenge to myself because, um, I'm not consistent. I would like to grow my channel a little bit more. Well, I, I did. I did. I did. I didn't film as much as I thought I was going to film this year, but it did grow. I don't even remember with how many subscribers I started the year, but it definitely did go up in numbers. Um, damn it. I wish I could have said what number I was by in the beginning of the year. Do I? Not only for you. I don't, I don't think I said how many um, subscribers I had. But I did gain a little bit more this year. I'm proud of myself for that. And I think I owe most of it to <laughs> my um, reaction videos. You know, those are honestly one of the best, most fun videos to film, at least in my opinion. I really do love filming those videos and they bring me joy. So if you've seen any of my past videos, thank you so much. Like I honestly can't even begin to thank you enough you guys watching but for myself i feel like filming is such a nice experience of keeping these memories alive <laughs> and i want to be more consistent with it and i do want to grow even if it's not in numbers i want my channel to grow as a whole i want it to be a little bit more steady number 2.5 this out of one four. i've just been struggling with for the past year i want to say i used to read so so much i used to read like five to six books a month i want to say when i was in high school i would go through books so quickly i used to enjoy reading so much and then i don't know what happened as of right now i haven't been inspired to read so Still haven't it does affect me so for number six i want to see bts again you know yeah <laughs> not about <laughs> Ooh, hold up, I need to pause and just marinate in this feeling that I'm getting right now. A month after I released this video saying I wanted to see BTS again, they released their tour dates for the stadium tour and I did get scammed. So <laughs> that's one feeling I don't want to marinate in because I unfortunately never got my money back for that. Um, so I did lose $300. 
it did suck, but I did end up going to two concerts in California. I went both days and I was floor one of those days. And then in the second day, I was like kind of like midsection. It was amazing. I loved both days. I really enjoyed their concert in Texas. So this year, I really hope they do drop a stadium tour. And they did! So that I can go see them again. I don't care if they don't come to Florida. At this point, if I went to Texas to go see them, I'm gonna go anywhere at this point. And you did, sweetie. You did. <laughs> you went to California, for fuck's sake. To go see them. So that's another goal. I don't know if I'll achieve it, honestly. Um, it's really hard. You yeah. know, they have such a big growing fan base that I don't know if it'll be harder to get tickets for concerts next time around. But that's definitely something I'm keeping in it mind. Was. It's something I want to do. I want to see them again, so... I'm gonna try to see them again. Number seven, I feel like in 2018, I did not spend enough time with my family. And you know, it's all due to school and work, and then now there's gonna be more work. Um, but I do wanna be able to spend more time with my family. Um, right now more than ever because I have a baby boy nephew being born on the 11th of this month. He was born I think a day after I posted that video which is crazy. <laughs> um, he came a little bit earlier than expected but and I did achieve that also the should throw that in there. Um, yeah. I did spend time with my family this year. Supposedly, I think he's coming sooner, but who knows? My sister doesn't want to hurry up. I was but ready. I have a baby boy nephew about to be born in like five minutes. And then I have a baby girl niece um, that's going to be born sometime around May. And she was born in May. Um, she was born actually a few weeks after the BTS concert, which was crazy. I almost missed it. One of the best feelings in the world is being an aunt. I can't imagine what being a parent would feel like, but being an aunt is amazing. And I love my niece and nephew so much, so much, so much. Number eight, I just wanna become a little bit more comfortable in my own skin. I just suffer with my body image. A lot. Still like do. I overthink everything that I wear. Um, I'm just very, I, I like to overthink things. If I, I like to overthink things. So Still being do. uncomfortable in my own body has definitely always like stopped me from doing certain things. So this year, I just want to, you know, even if it increases by like 2%, I want to be 2% more confident than I was last year in my own skin. Um, so yeah, that was just a little mind goal that I have set for myself. Okay, number nine. No. <laughs> I need a new computer. <laughs> yeah! I forgot about that one. I got a new computer. The only reason why I ended up deciding to get a new one, I honestly did it out of the blue. And it was because one day um, I was trying to do homework and my um, internet page, like Chrome, it wasn't loading. Safari wasn't loading. Like my, um, sorry, if my finger's pink, it's because I was watching eyeshadows today at work. Um, but I literally tried to load my schoolwork on my, you know, school's website and it wasn't loading. And I was like, this is it. This is where I draw the line. That was the only reason why I kept that computer. That was the only reason what I used. That was the only usage that computer had for me. It was for school and school only. And once my school website wasn't loading, I was like, what the f so I literally bought a new computer and because I don't think I have the money. I no, didn't. <laughs> this one, I I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. It's not a goal that I want to achieve. I think I'm open to maybe settling down. <laughs> it sounds so weird saying that because I it didn't happen. I've come to the conclusion <laughs> that I think I have commitment issues I it's not even commitment issues I just whenever I start thinking about long-term relationships I freak out like I 
I don't know if that, I didn't even think that was a thing, but I just, I do like the idea of spending the rest of my life with someone, but I just can't envision ever finding a person that I'm like, yeah, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Like, I have not, like, there's been a few people that I talked to this year, and I'm like, I feel like I overthink things, and I just don't see myself, like, in the long run going anywhere with anyone, so... <laughs> Woo. I feel like I'm fine where I'm at right now. Still am. But then again, I'm like, I'm also maybe trying to find something. I'm excited for 2019. <laughs> no. I think, I know people say this all the time, 2019 might be my year. 2019 is going to be my year. Um, but for me, I feel like 2019 might be another year for me where I just learn um, more. It's not going to be like my prime time. <laughs> It was. Um, it might be. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. It's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a good year. It was. It and was. I'm excited. So, yeah. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys so much. All right. Um, I could definitely have done better, <laughs> but I'm proud of myself. I did do. I think most. I did more than half of the things for sure. I'm not sure if I counted right, but I did do more than half of the things I said I was gonna do that year. You know, I got myself a new computer, I spent more time with my family, um, saw BTS again, I cleaned up my <laughs> um, emails. I'm proud of myself, you know? I, I think I should do this video for 2020 and, you know, hopefully speak things into existence again and, you know, my CBTS three years in a row. Who knows, you know? Who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys hopefully in my next video. Um, yeah. Bye.